All right, I haven't seen much documentation about this type of ice maker from LG where the ice maker is inside of the freezer, not inside of the door. Uh, so I figured someone's got to make a video of it, right? So trying to just look over all the components here on the underside because you got to disassemble the door to get under here. And I've been having a few problems with this ice maker. The first problem is that the sensor that detects when to stop making ice doesn't work or when to stop filling up the water. So what happens is uh, water gets filled up completely on the ice tray, but then it fills it up too high and then what would be separate cubes turns into one giant clump and it gets physically stuck in here as a single clump. So when this, me when this mechanism turns to drop what should be cubes, it physically can't because they're not cubes anymore. It's a huge clump and then you have to manually remove it by waiting uh, about like 20-30 minutes with the door open and letting the ice thaw out a little bit and then you manually uh, let's see, it is this button right here. You hold that and it resets the system by turning it manually whenever you hold that button. And it'll drop the ice and then it'll fill it back up again, but inevitably it's going to clog up again because it's going to do the same thing as before. Now the reason I'm in here is because this entire tray just fell off the other day and it needed to be put back on. Now in order to do that, uh, it's, it has to deal with this piece right here. There's a there's a little cylindrical piece that just slides into a hole and that's what holds that end up. Now I did I, I did uh, break a plastic piece right here. I uh, don't know how that's going to affect anything but uh, I'm sure something's going to be goofed up because of that. And then the next part is once you slide it in there you got to tilt this thing in in a certain way because now you've got this piece. Now this piece is flat and it's keyed in with this particular component because this is the mechanism, this is the motor that turns the whole unit to go around. So if I were to like uh, flip this back on and I'm going to get wet doing this but hey video is video. The mechanism right there and you see that motor turns it and that's what would dump the ice and it comes back up and now you can hear the water filling up the tray but we have knocked the component loose and it looks like it looks like maybe the piece of plastic. Well, we knew that was going to happen. You know, the piece of plastic that holds it in place is definitely not there anymore. So uh, at least at this point, I can kind of show you how this slides back in. See, that goes into that hole. And then slide this up and over. And what we want to do is slide one corner of this in first. It's a little cumbersome to do with one hand. Because you won't be able to get it in with just uh, pushing it down. It's got to slide in. So I can lock in place. Yeah, I may have to. Uh... Yep. See, it's a bit of a pain in the butt here.
can see more components are kind of falling apart. It's LG. It's LG uh, ice maker in this fridge. It was phenomenal when it was working. I'm going to pause the video. There we go. It's a bit of a two handed operation. So it slides in and then kind of pivots and locks in place. But clearly, it's not locked in as good as it should be. This little piece over here. I'm not sure what this is exactly. It's some sort of sensor. A wire goes into it. It was, uh, it's held in by some clips. Uh, I was having some problems and it came out, but we're going to try pressing the manual reset button again, seeing if it holds. We're going to get splashed with water. Or not. I guess the last splash had most of it. Yep, see it came off the motor again. There we go. Ah. Ah. So, the component, let's take a look at the component here. Clearly, oh uh, yeah, yep. There's a piece that is supposed to hold this in place a little better. I think that's the plastic piece that broke but we're gonna keep this up and out of the way for the time being. Hey, you got it that time I went in. For the time being and we're gonna flip the switch turn it off because it doesn't do us any good so the rest of the tray system appears to be functional um, well, I mean, uh, at turning and everything, the motor's fine. Looks like it's just this that needs to be replaced for now. Oh, happy days. Well, it's still, even if I replace that piece so that this stays in place, um, that's not going to solve the overfilling of the ice issue. I don't know why I did that. You know, for the first for the first year, the ice maker was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it because it made huge chunks of ice and it was perfect every time. But after that, it's just filled up and clogged and was constant troubleshooting has been a nightmare ever since. So I was gonna call a repair guy, but uh Starting to wonder if this fridge is even worth the hassle. It's a good, everything around it works perfectly fine, but I may end up having to get just a separate ice maker because this don't work. I wish it did. But, so yeah, no one else seems to have any documentation of this thing. And uh, I figure someone needed to film this. That was already down here anyway. So I hope this helps someone because I've just been having headaches with this thing for so long now.